Paimon. Hi, Traveler. What can I do for you? Hi, Amber. Hi. Looks like you've got a bit of time on your hands. Uh-oh. Here it comes. I've been rushed off my feet recently, and Outrider's duties never end, so... Wanna help? Told you so. Recently, wolves have been attacking the carts at Drunkard Gorge. As you know, wolves are dangerous, but they do have their own rules. Mondstadt's wolves don't normally venture outside of the Bright Crown Mountains in Wolvendom. Yes, Paimon heard someone say that those areas do have their own set of rules, even though they are wild and untouched by humans. That's right. So for wolves to be showing up around Drunker Gorge is very unusual. Speaking of wolves, do you know the weirdo wolf boy from Wolvendom? Uh, who? I've never heard of anyone like that around Mondstadt. Wait! Red one? Bernie girl? That ain't you? Bernie? What are you talking about? Anyway, I'm off to Drunkard Gorge to investigate. Come with me! Look, up ahead! Something's happening! That ain't no wolf pack! Looks like it's the hilly trails attacking the carts after all! Huh, not such a mystery after all. Enough talk! Let's go help out! Charles have been starting to flex their muscles on the back of the wolf scare. That's right. But I must say, if you think the hilly churls are a nasty lot, the wolves are even worse. They... they attacked Springvale this morning. Springvale? That's crazy! It's unheard of. I thought I would take my chances on the road after the wolves had their fun. I never thought the hilly churls would show up too. We should head there soon and see how bad the situation is. But first things first, you should assess the damage to your cart. Does it still work? I'll take a look. <laughs> Oh dear. This is awful. Poor lad can't even stand. That's terrible. Except he's not actually injured. Right. It's awful. The wolves frighten him so badly that he's paralyzed with fear. That really is awful. Do you remember any significant details of what you saw? I... I've never seen a wolf in my life before today. It was terrifying. No details then, huh? Let's investigate the area again. They 
must be at least two meters high. Hey, wolves are mysterious creatures. It's not like you see them every day. This is a wolf's tooth. He must have smashed into the door when he pounced. Uh, anyway... Seems pretty lucky how no one in the village got seriously injured. Incoming! Wolfer... I heard that in Liyue, they make calligraphy brushes out of this stuff. The color looks nothing like Mondstadt Wolfer, based on what the books say. Could it be that they're from somewhere else entirely? Hair looks different at every place on the body. Same applies to wolves. You don't know where it's from. But look at this. Another hair. But what's that stuck to it? It's the seed of a wolf hook berry. Look, there are little hooks on the seed. The only places this grows in Mondstadt are Wolvendom and Bright Crown Canyon. So it's Wolvendom wolves after all? From that area, yes. But it could be that there are other wolf packs encroaching on their territory. This doesn't tell us everything, but it does give us a strong lead. Enough to start investigating. I'll go and see to the villagers before we head off. Nothing but the breeze, the breeze of my homeland. How is your investigation coming along? What? You're standing! Yes, I see. I have recovered, thankfully. I managed to... So, Knights of Favonius, what have you found out? From inspecting the wolf fur left at the scene, we can tell that the wolves came from Wolvendom. Beyond that, we don't know anything. But please remain calm. I will head to Wolvendom shortly and get to the bottom of this. The Knights of Favonius will not allow this danger to continue any longer. Good. Better late than never, I suppose. How rude! In the meantime, we'll just have to keep dealing with this on our own. Please, don't do anything stupid. <laughs> we do things a bit differently around here. You Favonius lot probably aren't used to it. <laughs> Goodbye. It's awful. What is? Their future outlook, I mean. Young people can be so impulsive sometimes. If it's not too much to ask, I hope you can keep an eye on them. Stop them from getting into trouble. It's no trouble. That's what we're here for. Even though that guy really isn't much of a charmer. Leave it to us. Uh, off to Wolvendom we go. <laughs> Who's there? Chill out, Razor. It's only us. You are also Knight? So you don't know each other after all? No. This girl also red, but not so Bernie like other girl. This is starting to make sense. Is this the wolf boy you were talking about? Correct. His name is Razor. Help me out. With what? No time. I sent Lupa call away. People coming. Bad people. Those guys from earlier? I understand. But first, I have a few questions. I smell blood. Quick! Blood? I hope the wolves didn't attack those idiots. Yeah. 
blood droplets. Not human blood. Wolf blood. Lupacore blood. Lupa what now? Are you gonna tell us what it means yet? Lupa call his family fate gave me. When wolf accepts human as its own, or human accepts wolf, that is Lupa call. Sounds like gibberish to me. That's strange. Where does the word come from? Surely it wasn't made up by the wolves. It's just the name he gave. Who's he? Guardian of this land. Wouldn't that be Barbados, though? He is the ruler of Mondstadt. Enough! Another clue. Follow me. Hey, wait! This is your chance to prove your innocence! <sighs> He's already gone. This is him. We find his blood. Bad. Oh, how terrible! I do agree that it's awful, but that doesn't change the fact that... We didn't attack Village! Not us! A black wolf and his pack. Not from here. They tried to take over land. They broke the code. Whose code? Guardian of this land. That's now the second time you've brought that up. Tell us who that is. I take Lupa call further in. Follow me. Maybe you see. These. Aren't those wolf hook seeds? Crush them. Put on wound. Bleeding stop. It's true. Wolf hook seeds have a liquid coating that not only functions as a mild painkiller, but also has a hemostatic effect. I read that in a book. Why? I have no idea. Hooks help seeds move. Liquid stops pain and bleeding. Animal doesn't feel hooks. They take seeds far away. Purple teacher told me so. I stay here. Take care of this one. I answer Red Girl's questions. Right. And if that lot does come back, I doubt they will try their luck against a member of the Knights of Favonius. Your wolf friend is not clear of my suspicion just yet, but we'll still need to fetch those seeds. <laughs> Yes, enough. Razor was just telling me about the woven code of conduct. Mind blowing stuff. Thank you. We've looked everywhere and haven't seen any other wolves. Yep, that's wolves for you. The one we managed to capture must have been brain damaged or something. What are you doing here? Revenge! It's him! The one who was raised by wolves! Huh? So... It was you! I should have known wolves aren't smart enough to be behind this! I can't believe you would help wolves plot against humans! 
They throw you some scraps and you treat them like kin? Have you forgotten what you are? Enough! Yeah! You can't talk about Razor like that! The Knights of Favonius are gonna let this guy off? We did not raid village! What is this disturbance to which I awaken? This is no offering to Boreas. Not only do you come from my kind, so too do you fail to recognize your own transgression. <laughs> Please, come. You seek to protect these outsiders, Razor. You cannot tame my fury. You must live with your sword. Show me what your humans have taught you. Bear your claws of steel. It's just like he said. An outside wolf pack coming in and breaking the rules. They will reap what they have sown. But Razor, you must not get involved. This is for the wolves to settle between themselves. You fight not with claws, but with the sword. You strike not with teeth, but with lightning. You are human, Razor. I am not like them. I don't belong. You are no wolf. This is a matter for the wolves, and the wolves alone. And you... You are Razor's Lupacar amongst humans. Your nobility stands out against others of your kind. If you ever wish, you may train with me. I have nothing further to say. May we meet again, Razor and company. Hey, Razor, what's that look for? Why don't you come to the city for a few days? Yeah, you have a friend in Mondstadt anyway, right? You know, that red Bernie friend of yours? You're not safe in the wild anymore, but I know that you don't want to hurt them. I'm fine, don't worry, but I'm not city human, but also not wolf. Thank you.
Thank you, Traveler, Paimon, and other red girl. Hey, we've been with you all this time, and you still don't even know my name? Goodbye. <laughs>